Hi, here we are at WonderCon 2018. I've been on many panels and watching them, and this is one of the most talented ones I've seen so far. we got some really talented writers here. We've got uh, Teresa Huang and uh, Joel Thompson, and they were really fantastic. Ken was their moderator, and he asked some really excellent questions. Yes? Yeah, yes. he Ken did. He kept us on our toes. Tell me what it is that you're working on at the moment. Well, Joel and I worked together on a sci-fi channel show called Superstition that finished its first season in November. Uh, we completed our first season in January. Our finale uh, aired uh, the last week of January, and we're still wait awaiting uh, fingers crossed on our fate on if we're going to have a second season. Have you guys worked together before? Uh, no, no, we, we have haven't. not. No. This is our first, but first yeah. of many, I hope. Yes, yes, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> yeah. what, did, uh, what did you work on before? Uh, before that, I've worked in several rooms as a writer's assistant. Uh, most recently on Wisdom of the Crowd on CBS, and before that on a show called In Contempt on BET that's about to actually premiere on April 10th. Oh, congratulations. BET. Thank you. It's nice to see it finally happen. Yeah, I, I feel you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, Falling Skies, um, uh, Battlestar Galactica, House, um, and maybe a, a show or two that no one will remember, but it's near and dear to my heart. Uh, like what? Uh, Boomtown, actually. That's yeah, so a very special show for me. Uh, those are all great experiences, and I learned a great deal there. And what would you guys say to uh, the people that were sitting in the audience today who are aspiring writers and want to do what it is that you do and they're trying to get there right now? Well, I feel like a lot of themes emerged out of what we were all saying, the biggest one being perseverance and just keep writing, keep going, don't give up because going to be a long journey, it's a marathon, not a sprint, and there's going to be a lot of disappointments along the way, but the thing that strings together everyone who is successful in anyone's eyes is they worked their asses off and they kept going and they didn't give up on themselves or on their work. I would say that it is about walking through the pain to get to the glory, you know, and, and you try in the midst of that journey to make sure you don't pass too many roses without sniffing them. And um, how did, what was your first break how did you get your first in there um i won a contest and that contest got me a little bit of attention and that little bit of attention got was just enough attention to get an agent and from there i i got on my first show which was boomtown i talked about on the panel how i've had many many years of experiences when trying to break in but i really credit the start of my career and taking off into employed work as the writing fellowships that I've done, including CBS and also CAPE, the Coalition of Asian Pacifics and Entertainment, because you know we're always writing, we're always working to get in, but these programs really gave me a foundation of training and a foundation of education and contacts and context and, and all the knowledge I needed to really get started. So even though I was writing before then, it was really when I did those programs that I really I feel like launched me into to the trajectory I'm in now. So I'm hoping to keep this momentum going. Yes, absolutely. We'll probably put a couple of those links down in the bottom as we do this interview, because that's very, very helpful. Um, also, I was wondering, um, as you guys were younger, what television shows did you write, and not write, what television shows did you watch that inspired your writing? Oh, Star Trek The Next Generation. That's, it's all <laughs> that's about- That's a popular one. That's a really it's, popular one. Picard is my captain, that, that world, because that, that sci-fi world was so brilliant for storytelling because you had a, a, a limited set of characters, you had a limited set of powers and, and science with, in which you were t working, and within that set of limitations you could tell a limitless amount of stories. And that was my experience watching the show. That it, it was never the same show every week, but you were watching characters you loved every week. And that's a show I would love to create someday. Yeah. Uh, for me it was Homicide, Life on the Streets, oh, yeah. uh, Tom Fontana, um, uh, Simon and I'm brain cramping, Paul Atanasio. Um, uh, th that, that for me was, uh, that, that to me ex conveyed what you can do uh, in, the, in, an, in an hour of drama of TV and the explorations that you can make with respect to character. Even in the framework of, of homicide detectives, it wasn't about them just catching the bad guy. There were so many discussions about life that went on in those squad cars uh, that, that really stayed with me. You know, and I thought, wow, I want to be a part of that. I want to try somehow to come close to doing something as strong as that is. Because I know you guys write as a job. What is your absolute favorite thing to write? Like, what just makes it fun? 
it, as a writer, you get to write, you get to ha create your superheroes, and those are the versions of yourself that you can't be in real life, and that's 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 always my favorite in every script. Yeah. <laughs> Um, for, for me, I think it, a lot of stories have the protagonist make a discovery. Uh, either it's a discovery about someone that they trusted, or it's a discovery that they thought the universe worked this way, but it actually works that way. I'm a sucker for when the discovery is made by the protagonist and it is about the protagonist. That they make a discovery about herself or himself uh, that they did not realize. Either they didn't realize they were the asshole that they were or they didn't realize that in the midst of all this assholeness that they actually can do something good and it didn't stop their art. You know, so though I'm kind of a sucker for those kind of revelations. Great. All right. Well, thank you so much for spending some time with us today. We really appreciate it. I know you're going to inspire some future writers up there, and we look forward to seeing the shows that you guys are going to be writing. Thank you. Thank you. It's a privilege to be here.